with both the front and rear of our EB4 10.2 buggy now complete and all coming together with perfection, it's time to start mounting both sections to the main chassis. So on it is with Kitbag J. So time to install everything to the main chassis, 3mm thick machined aluminum for lighter weight yet high strength, pre-hold with cavities built in for mounting various parts and electronics further down for a lower centre of gravity providing higher stability when racing around corners. As for Kitbag J, it's pretty standard stuff. The centre drive shafts with their typical techno high quality and strength, the front and rear clips as well as the centre diff brace, time to get everything in place. We'll begin with the front end assembly and loosening the two screws that secure the A block into position, just enough so that the block still holds the arms in place but to provide enough clearance since the A block will key into the main chassis. Lower the front assembly onto the chassis and secure into place from the bottom with two 8mm flathead screws up front and two 10mm flathead screws just beneath. And now we can tighten up the two screws we loosened on the A block keying it into the chassis and keeping everything securely in place, before covering with the front bumper mount and securing into place with two 6mm button head screws, going into metal here so remember to add some thread lock. With that in place we'll move to the centre of the chassis and install a small side guard using a single 10mm flathead screw from the bottom, as well as the centre chassis brace in this orientation using another two 10mm flathead screws, again from the bottom, just so that they're nice and snug, you don't want to be stripping any threads in the plastic here. Onto our metal motor mount next, this is positioned next to the small guard we just installed, and secured from the bottom using two 10mm flathead screws around the centre of the chassis, and a single 8mm flathead screw towards the side, all with thread lock of course. Now we move on to our centre diff mount, which is positioned next to the motor mount just installed and held in place with another two 10mm flathead screws from the bottom, ensuring the ridge is on the outside. Finally, we can get the centre differential built in the very first kit bag into place, insert a bearing onto either side, and then insert a diff mount over both, before dropping into position onto the centre diff mounts. Remember to insert the centre drive shaft into the front diff cup and into the centre as it goes down into place. With that, cover the centre differential and secure each corner in place with four 8mm button head screws. The rear two can go straight in so that they're nice and snug, while the front two are threaded into the metal motor mount, so apply some thread lock to these. Front and centre now done and we're ready to bolt on our rear assembly. We have a chassis brace to install first, so to get this in place we have some small pieces to insert into the body mount we installed earlier, with the hole at the top being the stock position. And next we can feed a 20mm button head screw through, before feeding through the brace, and securing with a flanged log nut. We want everything securely in place but try not to tighten down too much just yet. Instead we'll get this installed onto the chassis then tighten up once in position. So with that said, the entire rear assembly can now sit onto the rear end of the chassis. Remember to feed through the short centre drive shaft before flipping the buggy over installing six 10mm flathead screws. Four of these go into the rear assembly itself, securing the bulkhead directly to the chassis while the remaining two secure the chassis brace we left loosely connected to the bulkhead, providing some give to secure them to the chassis. The two screw holes just behind are for an optional shorter brace, before flipping back over and tightening up the chassis brace screw into its lock nut the rest of the way. And with that, Kitbag J is now complete and the buggy is really taking shape, front and rear bolted on, with the centre differential in place, and everything should turn nice and freely. So double check the steering to make sure it's super free and ensure there's no binding down the entire chassis whatsoever. Typical techno high quality here, all parts have come together with perfection, not a millimetre out, providing a really enjoyable and satisfying build. With that said, it's time to build and mount our shocks into their new positions in the next kit bag. <laughs> <laughs> 